The disclosure Friday that police in Texas stood by for more than 40 minutes while a gunman continued shooting in a Uvalde schoolroom came after two days of inaccurate and incomplete statements from the governor and the state's top law officer. Steve McCraw, director of the Texas Department of Public Safety, acknowledged during a news conference that commanders at Robb School chose not to storm the classroom even as the shooter continued firing, and as students were on the phone with 911 operators pleading for police protection. The gut-wrenching revelation came three days after 19 students and two teachers were gunned down, and at least 17 others were wounded. During the days between, McCraw, Governor, Greg Abbott and other officials offered the very different narrative. Among them, McCraw and Abbott repeatedly claimed the teenage rifleman was confronted by a school police officer before entering the classroom, and violence began with an exchange of gunfire between the two. That depiction was Wednesday. Within 24 hours, another top lawman announced that the account was wrong. There was no initial shootout. No school police officer even engaged the gunman, who simply walked in. It was first reported that a school district police officer confronted the suspect as he was making entry. Not accurate, said Victor Escalon, regional director for the Department of Public Safety. He, the shooter, walked in unobstructed initially. In the aftermath of any massive, deadly event, facts can be tricky. Perceptions get distorted and rumors fly in what's euphemistically referred to as the fog of war. The complete reversal of a key narrative fact was far from the only one. The information released over the next three days would indeed be new. In many ways, they would also directly contradict the official's own account, compounding a tragedy. More an open door, miss opportunity, wrong decision, list of what went wrong in Texas school massacre grows speaking again Friday afternoon, Abbott said he was misled and livid, and that he had repeated the details that had been told to him Wednesday. He did not identify the officials that provided the information. The following reflects what Texas officials had divulged before Friday's revelation that officers did not storm the classroom because an incident commander believed the gunman had finished killing students and there was, as McCraw put it Friday, no risk to other children. Abbott, on Wednesday, the 